Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. So today I want to bring to your guys' attention uh, R Games, which is a a newer gaming project that just released their native token R Games, and that is actually sitting underneath a million dollars in market cap. So you are still extremely early. And again, just bring this to your guys' attention because I want to bring you know as many of these projects early on to your attention as possible. So if you guys are a fan of crypto gaming and projects like this, they bring your attention early on so you can catch them before they potentially pump. Again. Nothing I say here is financial advice, just bringing it to your attention. You do with the information that you want to. Uh, and if you guys are ready, we'll get into it. So looking at it, uh, you can already see that our game did launch recently on GetAO, Mexi, Radium, and Pancake Swap. So they are, uh, you know, on BNB and Solana. So uh, immediately you guys should know if you're familiar with this channel that I am actually very, very bullish on anything built on Solana as, uh, as far as gaming goes. I think gaming on Solana is definitely an untapped market. Uh, so I love projects that are being built on Solana. Uh, and again, being on BNB too, you know, nothing crazy special there. But again, they are, it is being built on alternative chains uh, outside of Ethereum. So I think that is also worth making note of here. And immediately you can see that the game, or the project is kind of a, more of an auto, uh, you know, automotive gaming ecosystem. You know, if you look here at the backers, you know, Dowmaker, Wemix, uh, I think I, thought, uh, I saw Finceptor, Finceptor here. Uh, as well, a couple places that it launched on. So it says, welcome to our games. And we will be taking a look at where the native token sits right now. What I could find on the team, we'll get the vesting schedule and how, again, I think this project is super undervalued. Uh, so just, again, we'll be looking at that, looking at all that here towards the end of the video. So just stick around. Uh, again, looking at Welcome to Our Games, which is, they say, the vir virtual garage, which, you know, showcase your vehicle collection and admire your upgrades. They have various modes, so it's not, you know, just one individual, very linear game mode. They have different modes here as well. Unique vehicle model modeling, uh, futurist futuristic AI, uh, they say, you know, I think they're just trying to maybe capitalize on, like, the AI narrative, but, you know, who knows, you know, so they have the R modes, which, again different modes within their ecosystem so they have the story mode which in this mode players progress through a series of races and challenges following a storyline with various characters and plot twists so this could almost be more of like your single player kind of linear uh story mode which again i do like that you know i'm a big single player guy myself uh so you know street racing again this is they say it's a different mode where it kind of takes you on urban city streets with variety of obstacles as well so again this could all be you know pretty bullish especially if they do all these different modes right and they have kind of like an f1 racing mode they have almost like a derby mode or like a uh, uh like a demolition derby mode as well so i think it's you know pretty cool off-roading mode like a baja mode so you can see here that they have different racing modes along with their story mode which again like to see different uh you know variety within an ecosystem even if it is just overall underneath the umbrella of racing because i think for like racing games right now uh you know it's our games icon x world uh and then i think rebel cars is coming out here soon through elysium uh vulcan forge as well so and again we already know that icon x world we covered that in another video here recently uh, but, you know, they're building on Polygon. Uh, I don't know what Rebel Cars is building on right now. But, you know, I could see our games being kind of, again, if we're seeing kind of a little mini narrative wave with all these kind of, like, car racing projects that are being built super undervalued. If one of them takes off, then that means that the other ones in that sub-niche narrative, uh, you know, sector of kind of the car genre uh, gaming projects, if one takes off, you can expect... More than likely, the other ones will take off, which is why, again, I'm liking our games more and more I look at it, uh, especially since, again, it has that Solana narrative edge over its comp or over its competitors in the space. Uh, so, again, we see here that, you know, they just showcase the different uh, models here uh, that they currently have for the different mo different modes. They have their roadmap. Uh, again, we're just going through the website before we get a little bit more into the, you know, the nitty-gritty of the projects or the roadmap. Uh, again, quarter one core game mechanics and futures play to earn so they do say this project will be play to earn which you know i think a lot of games are i think almost every game says play to earn but a lot of games really are not play to earn so it'll be interesting if they can actually have an earning utility within their game as we've seen that can really you know help a project out as far as momentum and price action goes as we've seen in the past with other projects uh you know like the past 
you know, bull market like Axie Infinity, Cravata, Peg Axie, uh, even this bull market, you know, with stuff like big time, you know, the, you know, the, an earning factor can really, you know, help a project out. So we'll see if how that goes. Uh, new new vehicle types, you know, improved play to or you know, yeah, play to earn mechanics, uh, cooperative racing modes. Uh, they say esports. You know, they plan on getting into the esports uh, realm as well. Uh, and again, it, they just keep the roadmap going. They have their tokenomics here, kind of a broke breakdown, which you can take a look at here if you want to pause it. Now, we're going to break it down on another website that goes a little bit more in depth. Now, I do have some gripes about the team. Now, on their website, I wouldn't necessarily qualify this as a docs team just because everything is kind of, you know, you can tell it's AI generated or like cartoonish. Like, it's, you know, I'm not a big fan about that. Uh, that guy looks very real, but a lot of the other ones really don't seem real in a way. And I'm not saying the names are fake, but, you know, again, I like to see individual. I like to see their faces, really. I think everyone really does, especially this bull market. You know, last bull market, a lot of teams got away with not doxing themselves. I think this bull market, especially in the gaming sector, if, you're, if you don't have a dox team on your website or somewhere easy to find, then it's going to hurt. Uh, so, I mean, that could change. And, again... Maybe it's found somewhere else. I'm just not looking at it yet. Or maybe they're on AMAs coming up here soon. But again, I wish that they had not gone this animated route and actually had individual LinkedIn's uh, to all the different team members. I think that really goes a long way for investors here. Uh, they have their, their advisors. Uh, they have, you know, I think Sky Wee, uh, I think he has some influence behind him. I've, I know, I've heard the name, uh, so please correct me if I'm wrong there institutional advisors uh powered by they actually are powered by you know obviously the unreal engine bnb solana unity uh and fabwell which is actually you know i think uh, i think i've talked about fabwell on the channel before i'm trying to recall if i made an individual video on them but they're also kind of a gaming studio that launched at the end of the last uh bull cycle so and we'll take a look at here in a minute what they mean by powered by fabwell uh, again if you look at their git book here uh it shows just again more of what they have to offer uh, and again, I think that it definitely looks, you know, pretty cool as far as like cosmetics go. But, you know, cosmetic is obviously one thing. They do have a YouTube channel, which you can click here on the right hand side that I'm not going to pull up right now, but you can click it. Uh, they do show some, you know, some uh, early alpha, some gameplay of it. So it's definitely something worth taking a look at if you're interested there. Uh, and again, it says, what is our games? It's a multi-vehicle racing game. Uh, where players can go from different racing genres uh, as well. So, again, it's very bullish there that I think that, you know, they have different genres. I, You know, we're seeing, again, all these car racing projects in the space that are launching that it really could, you know, if one of them takes off, it's not going to take a whole lot of time for the other ones to take off too. So, they break down here how the earning mod or model is going to be uh, how you can expect it. So again, you can pause it or go through their Git book here and take a look at it as well. If you go to team, we can see, again, they break down their team a little bit more, but again, it's not that docsness kind of of like, you know, you would get out of other teams that I, I kind of wish they would do. Now, if we look at their LinkedIn, uh, again, it says our games, uh, it says they have two employees right now, which, you know, I don't know if that's not true because Git book here, it says team of 17 strong and growing, uh, but they do say employees are, are games, you know, obviously we have, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name because I know I'll get it wrong and I don't want to get it wrong. But, you know, uh, the guy right here uh, who was a CEO at Fabrel Studios and now is a co-founder of our games and also the co-founder of Inception. So I think that, again, that's could be where the powered by Fabrel comes into is from the CEO and co-founder uh, of our games. So. You know, again, something to take note of there. And again, one thing I do like about that is that Fabwell isn't necessarily, it's not a failed project. I just, just don't think it's gotten the momentum that a lot of people were thinking it would get as gaming kind of picked up uh, end of 2023. But again, they launched at the very, very end. I think it was November of 21. So bad time to launch a project. Nobody knew. But again, so it's good to see that their project before, I wouldn't necessarily say fail, because it did get some attention, but not as much as people were thinking, uh, I want to say. But again, the other person listed here is a co-founder and just blockchain expert. Nothing crazy there uh, as well, as far as, like, you know, experience. And I can see on their 
on their LinkedIn. Uh, but either way, that, that, that's your LinkedIn. Now, here's where it gets a little crazy is that, again, they just launched this token on, I want to say the 10th or 11th of April of this year, 24. And we can see, especially after this weekend dip, you know, it's kind of happened here recently. And again, trading on BNB and Solana. Uh, they're sitting, again, sub million dollar market cap for a project that some of their team members you can find. Uh, again, I'm hoping that we can find more as time goes by or if their team joins AMAs. Uh, we'll take a look at their funding rounds, how much they raised here recently. Uh, and again, they just launched, so you know, stuff could you know be updated. They have decent uh volume, you know, 84% volume to market cap, you know, pretty high given the market cap, obviously. Look at their exchange exchange listings. I believe they launched on Gate.io and Mexi, and then they got listed on Bing X, and then obviously you have Radium and Pancake Swap. So good to see that they have some centralized exchanges from the beginning. Uh, that's always you know, a plus two C, especially on such a low market cap project. And again, here looking at crypto rank, you know, it says that they are sitting again, it's probably, let's just call it 700 K market cap, but either way, you're not at a million yet, which is pretty insane for a gaming project that again, looks pretty quality as what we can see. Now, I always, you know, want to disclose this fact that, you know, especially when you get in to smaller market caps like this, the chance of it going to zero is extremely high. I mean, these this is crypto is risky enough. When you get into lower market caps, this low, it could go to zero. I mean, that you know, I'm I'm just being blunt with you guys. I hopefully it doesn't. Obviously, I don't want it to, uh, but it could. It could very well easily go to zero, or it could 10, 20, 30, 100 x from here, and it wouldn't take much to do it. I mean, an 80 million dollar market cap circulating would be 100 x. Obviously, if we put dilution aside. Because uh, it could happen in a couple months, and it could happen in, in a year or two. Nobody knows. But again, never invest more than you uh, can afford to lose. And if I were to add this to my portfolio, because full disclosure, I have not currently. As again, I'm still waiting to see a little bit more out of the team. Uh, I would only make this thing maybe less than a percent of my portfolio. Uh, but either way, if you look at their token sale, see what they raised. It looks like they did raise, you know, just shy of $3 million. Um, they had initial market cap, obviously, of about 300 k We see places that they launched, Get.io, Finceptor, Pools Finance, Spintop, uh, you know. It's a pretty down maker, pretty, you know, usual uh, mark or launch pads, nothing crazy there. But look at the vesting schedule. Again, right now, it says that there's, according to Crypto Rank, that there's about 2% of the supply out. Uh, I know on core market cap, it says about... 4.9%. Uh, so again, with these new, especially these new micro cap tokens, it's just stuff that will probably get updated over time. Uh, but I would trust crypto rank a little bit more over coin market cap. That's me personally. Now, if we look at the vesting schedule, it looks like the team is on a big cliff here. So, you know, you do want to see a one year cliff from the team, especially since that they get uh, what looks like 10% of the supply. So you definitely want to see them on a cliff. Uh, which just means that they're not getting uh, their allocations or their tokens for a year after the token has launched. So we can expect that, you know, again, mid-2025. Uh, if we look here at the token unlocks, they do monthly unlocks that it would look like for their vesting schedule. Uh, and again, it's, you know, on the 7th of every month. Now, the unlocks do get a little hefty in the beginning. Uh, again, you're talking about doubling, tripling the supply very early on. So that is something worth mentioning is that the supply could suppress the price a little bit. But this is something that I do want to look at, again, as time goes on. Now, it looks like as we get closer towards the end of the year, the, the supply gets or the unlocks get a little less damaging. It uh, goes from about 3% to 1% to not even a percent. So, again, but if we look at where the bull bear market or sorry heights of the bull market maybe could be let's just call it mid 2025 uh, again it says that we have 32 percent of the supply unlocked here which currently we only have 1.5 percent so that is pretty big uh in the dilution difference uh for suggesting that the market ca or the bull market highs could be somewhere mid 2025 but again nobody really knows and nobody knows how our games is going to perform, which is why I always encourage you guys on these videos to take what I gave you here today, apply it to your own research, do the research on the project if you're interested on what they have going on, if any of it seemed appealing to you, or if it's for your risk tolerance, take a look at it. Uh, I, you know, I think that our games could have potential in the short term, 
uh, you know, short term to midterm potentially. I don't know because of the unlocks if it's something I would be personally holding long term. But it really depends on if what kind of hype uh, influencers talk about it. If it gets in the spotlight of crypto, since crypto is such a hype spotlighty uh, market. So again, something I do want to point out. But I do like the fact that it is such a low market cap. It is a new launch. It hasn't seen the bull market yet. It's launching 2024. Uh, I like that they do. You know, they are built on Solana as as uh, along with BNB. I do like that. You know, when gaming projects are built on alternative change besides Ethereum to cut down on fees. And really, Ethereum kind of sucks. Let's be real here. So I think Solana Gaming is going to be our narrative. Uh, you know, BNB Gaming, you know, I don't know. But I think Solana Gaming is definitely the edge here between the two. Uh, and again, I think that with some hype that some of these card, you know, micro projects have uh, gotten recently with Icon X World that we talked about uh, about a week or two ago. You know, I think if even one of these projects take off, or like Rebel Bot, Rebel Cars on Vulcan Forge, if one of these car gaming projects take off, I really think we're going to see its competitors in the space quickly follow. So, you know, will that be our games? Will that be one of its competitors? Who knows? Only time will tell. But, you know, I do like what they have building on, you know, some pros and cons. Again, low market cap, building on Solana, uh, at least it seems like their co-founder was a CEO of, uh, you know, Fabwell, which, you know, is a project that has stuck around, admittedly. So that is good to know. It, he's not a, you know, CEO of a scam project. They have stuck around uh, and they have been, you know, performing. Uh, they've gotten a little bit of attention. So, uh, you know, again, but again, some cons would definitely be I want to see more team members, see more of their experience. I like to see them on AMAs. The vesting schedule is a little aggressive, especially in the short to mid term, uh, with not a whole lot of supply being out currently. So take it, take that with what you will. And if you guys are wanting to know exactly what I'm doing in these markets, I do have my Patreon linked below. Otherwise, I do have my free Discord also linked below. You guys can join, get in there, uh, you know, we talk about some of these projects early on before I even bring them to my YouTube channel. And if you guys have any other questions or other projects you want to ask, comment them or same in the Discord. I try to answer all messages across YouTube and Discord. I appreciate all of you guys. And uh, and again, if you're in the Discord, you would have saw me bring up our games, you know, days ago. So as I you know was starting to look into it. But either way, guys, if you guys got value out of this video and you know, you guys like this kind of content. If you guys can like the video, comment, subscribe, the notification bell, and share the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. See you guys.